Well, it's not bad, but I think against the Disruptor, it's pretty bad. Like, if you run in or blink in, you can just get Glyph Stylus. Oh, Shadow Fiend. Forgot about that. Hmm. Did not see that one coming. So, it's gonna be a Shadow Fiend. Fear, I don't know what's happening. They're jumping on top, and they actually find the kill. Onto Zai and take him down, and the Queen of Pain, while well, in the meantime, S4 is just diving, just triple. Oh, he misses the raid. He actually gets mini stun because of the Thunderbolt and gets the double raise off. So S4 picks up a solo kill. And, uh, this position, you kind of want to go a bit greedier just because he can afford to. And, ooh, is Zai going to go for a revenge kill here finally? He should be able to get it, it seems. And will he trade his life, though, is the question. The right click still come out. Oh, and Quista does die. No, not Quista. Quista actually picks up the kill on a Shadowy, but it takes actually the Zeus ultimate to pick up the kill? Wait, what the yeah, hell just he, happened? He, he denied the lane. TP's coming in. Oh, they glimpsed S4 all the way back to where he TP'd. And in the meantime, Quista get caught out here. They get the spikes at the end, but he finds himself the Shadow Dance. S4, though, picks up the kill on Shadowy, who kind of chased a bit far. That was weird, but uh, Quista at least makes it out. And he tried to run away. Shadowy, he tried to run away, and he didn't want to run past the towers. He tried to, you know... Be a bit cheeky. He he didn't have any vision on where the SF was, and unfortunately, just going down. And up mid too. Look at Zai can't even blink away again. They're gonna be able to get a third kill on him possibly. It seems. Yeah, he can't even get the Sonic Wave to respond. Oh man, that's not good. Didn't even need to use the Zeus ult. No. That's his oh, fourth bottom death. Lane. And they're looking that's... for a dive. They're going for it. Kuroki. They're going to glimpse him back, put him in the field, and drop Static Storm on top, so not giving him any chance to survive. Shadowway picks up the kill. Like, these two heroes, they have made so much space already. Disruptor and Slark, they synergize so well together and... You know this. Yeah, and with the Catapult, I think they can just go for it. Yeah, and Battle Trance. We do see SF S4 actually uh, kind of just zoning away a little bit, clearing out the Eidolons, and that should be the first tower of the game going to the secret oh. side. Wait, hold on. Mass TP's coming in to help out. Tinky Winky trying to do what he can. Gets the last hit. Sonic Wave comes through. Zai getting some revenge. The working of Souls as well on top. Getting himself a double, looking for Zai to get this last right click on an end card. He can get it. He can't juke around. State 21 in the trees. He's going to fall here. Mech pops. Raises out. Zai gets a triple kill. Supporting up his team, and uh, that's a good way to come back from 0-5, getting just an easy trip. Well, I did say it before, like, even though Zai didn't get scary faces, even though they built themselves an early advantage, this this one oh, fight... Oh, he glimpsed back the tree. Puppy, he pops the overgrowth, but he's dead. No way he gets out of this, yep. And then Cart gets the last hit. But yeah, just this one fight, I believe, from um, Paul, you know... Such a recovery. Just a simple triple kill is all I needed. That's all it took. The oh, Ramsey's. Uh, Ramsey's stuck in the pit. He's gonna slow up S4 a little bit. We got Tinky Winky coming through, but the static field coming out with that kinetic is gonna stop him for a little bit. But Kuroki, he's getting bursted out. He should be dead here. They zapped out Arteezy. Kuroki in the mech, but the black holes back up. SF gonna get sucked into the middle of that one. He's still silenced. He's still trying to turn, and he tries to pick up Shadow A. Can't do it with the raises. He pops out with the mech keeping him alive, and Ramsey got himself a double kill out of that after chasing down a very elusive little man. And they're smoked up. They're going up towards top here, and since it's nighttime, Silence is going to come out of the Zai, and oh, wait, he blinked in time, but he gets the back. Oh, all the way back to his tower, though. Zai, can they get this kill? They slow him down, they nuke him up, and right clicks away, but he gets the shadow, uh, Sonic Wave off on the Shadow Wave, but he just runs away. Mounts it up, ready to go. We'll be back in, he says. And with this... Zion, the early game, kind of playing them out from there. But, hold on, Puppy. Oh, does he get scouted? He does. He drops the Leech Seed. They ping him out, but they can't get the kill. <laughs> I'm not actually sure if they saw him, but I, I think oh, he they found Ramses. That... Oh, boom. So dead. But yeah, I'm not even sure that they saw him because they didn't... Ken set up for Requiem of Souls. You know, a little bit of a zappage coming out from State 21. He slows him down, blinking forward. BKB comes out from S4. Gonna see a glimpse back onto Tinky Winky as he gets sent backwards, but Zai goes in, gets silenced up. He's gonna try to get out of this right now. He's got enough health, he's gonna get Yules to delay, and can he blink? He can. Zai living by the skin of his teeth while everybody else trying to back out and take up this kill onto Slark, which is a huge kill at that. So Secret find two for none and looking for some more. Look at how aggressive Zai's being now. He's feeling all confident now he's got five kills. So, uh, yeah, well played. Secret finding these initial kills and. Just, they're going for the backstab. They're baiting with the Slark and they're going to backstab him. 
Oh, they're gonna find the Kree even. They might find Kuroki. Oh, he blinks away after breaking the smoke. The mass pings come out and they're telling him to back the hell up, but the glimpse comes back in. Kuroki's kind of stuck up here. Pouncing forward. Quista trying to get Tinky Winky. The black hole committed onto S4. Seeing as to how Kuroki's already dead, why not go for this kill? He's gonna pop the Wrecking of Souls. It doesn't do too much damage. It just kind of scares him away, but BKB from Quista as he wants to chase even further. Zai, silence, bursted. Gonna go down. Can they get this kill? Yes, they can. They glimpse back S4, but nothing else to respond. So a quick two for nil and on that bit of a flank, it works out phenomenally for SFZ. Yeah, I think I think they these uh eyes of the forest up into the jungle. And a smoke in. Actually not going for Roche, just kinda of scouting out a little bit. The darkness is out. And we're gonna blink forward. S4 might just be dead. He pops the BKB, turns around a little bit, does some damage, and heals up with the mech, but he scares them awake. Well, Quista, he's not scared. He's going in. He's going one versus one right now, but looking for an easier kill on Kuroki. They actually get a glimpse back in. They're gonna get the black hole out too, and they find two with that one right now. As Shadowway gets a double kill. Meanwhile, Quista kind of stuck in the trees, but he's got his team up back behind him. They glimpse back the SF. He's gonna pounce back in onto that, and what a well-executed fight from SFZ. That was at first I was doubting whether Quister was just you know playing overly aggressive, but he actually zoned out three heroes. Does SFZ do they know this? They yeah. should know this. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here comes this. now. Ortiz is kind of stuck. Oh, Zai actually just stole the DD away from them. He's gonna go into the pit. Overgrowth on the four. The Sonic wave hit four two. We got ourselves a disruptor ultimate in this kinetic field coming out, but Requiem of Souls. Quist is going to be able to at least get the kill onto Kuroki. No! The mechanism coming out, healing him up. He stays alive just a little bit longer, but Kuroki goes down. Zai did die, but look at this turnaround. Tinky Winky or Arteezy picks himself up a double kill in that fight. It's a With that overgrowth and that Queen of Pain ult, could have gone a lot worse than that, but they only lost two heroes. Actually traded two for two, so I think they're okay with this. And back they go into the pit. Ramses is like, I'm just going to start hitting you guys while you're doing this. And does he get the steal? He does! Taking the Aegis underneath the secret hands. Quista now fighting, man moding it up. Ramsey's gonna just slow him down, nuke him out. They're stuck in the field, but BKB comes in from Arteezy as he looks to just keep on fighting and wailing away. The black hole connects Kuroki, who blinks in, and they just blow them both up. Eknar gets a double kill. Oh my. This is oh not God. the game for Seeker right now. This is so not the game for them, and they didn't even use the Disrupt Ultimate, which they have now, so they can push into the to the base. At least force out one or two buybacks, if not all of them. Oh, oh they got the glimpse on a puppy! He's gonna pop the overgrowth, but for how long can he survive? Not long. Blinked and gl uh, glimpsed and just shot down, so... There you go. That is... I mean, I don't, the I, night vision, that's a set of racks? Yeah, with the night vision, they just know where everybody is. Oh my god, this is... Honestly, this is... A good drop from SFZ and very well executed, and they're gonna take at least one set of racks, and if not two. Are the Starland of Dreams over for Secret right now? Jeez, they're gonna swing for a second set. SFZ, surprising a lot of people here. Let's see, everybody's spawning right now. And maybe just get with the tower and just back out. I don't think they wanna to commit too hard just yet, but they still have the Disruptor Ultimate, so why not? Uh, going for the range racks first, and Two sets of racks down, secret. If any team could go back from that, they could, but this is still looking very good from SFZ. Like, this is a hell of a lead that they want. They forced the glyph, too. Gonna back off for a little bit. Kuroki Blinky forward. We got a bit of a burst damage coming in on the Shadow Way. He cannot connect the Static Storm and just connect Field, but that's it. They're blinking forward. They're still fighting. Quista going into the Zai, bl blocking him from getting into the fight and forcing him to blink out. But they get the range racks. They decide to back off. It's a little bit of zapping, but they're gonna actually reinitiate here. S4 is gonna get blown up. Quista going huge with State 21 on a double kill. Blinky forward, State 21 wants some more. He's bloodthirsty right now. There's still buybacks, but the two sets of racks are gone, and SFZ, Adam, just a little bit better, and he just becomes that much more tanky. So uh, we got a good warning coming out from the secret side, but what can you do? So tanky and so strong is this lineup from SFZ. Gonna look to just pressure the Blinky forward. They can find Puppy. They clear out the trees, but he still maintains that invisibility. And now, tier two gonna go down. They glimpse him back. They found him! But he gets the overgrowth off on the shadow wave. Meanwhile, Ramses is caught off in the back. He does still have the Aegis. They don't want to kill him off just yet, but the black hole comes in. Only connecting out of Kuroki. Nobody else walks into it, and that's just gonna be his life gone. But buyback coming in. Kuroki gonna TP back into this fight. Ramses is running away. They got the Sonic Wave on a state 21. The Slark is still running away. Ramses is gonna go down, even with the armlet toggle. Well, Zeus just suicides, and 
What a hold to come in from the secret side. Okay, that's that's what they need to get back into this, but still two racks down. SFC still in the driver's seat, but that's a little... No, not gonna use it, okay. Gonna, oh, there it is, okay. So now they're gonna run into them, but using that Thunder God's Wrath again, just scouting it out perfectly. Quist is gonna be the first one caught out here. Is he dead? Yes, he is. The overgrowth of the black hole gonna be going on to three right now, but nobody to follow up. The static storm wasn't there. Tiki Wiki on a killing spree. Or is he just going ham. Finding himself another kill possibly. Zai gets that one. Blinking forward state though. Picks off S4. It's gonna be a two on three trying. SFZ doing their best to get the rest of these kills. Ramsey's going ham. He's got himself that armlet. Toggling it off and on. And being able to chase on a Kuroki, they zap him down. That creep. That creep. Blocked him in the tree line and picked up the kill. What a hero. Oh man, he will not be forgotten as he fades into the soil. And that's a four for three in the SFC favor. I think if you're Slark, if you're kind of betrayed from your team, like he was he was the quote unquote bait, I guess. And they didn't really follow it up at all. Or if even if you're in the Enigma, you kind of feel pushing out mid and side lane very strongly. Gonna force someone to go back, and that's gonna be Zai who has his TP ready. Just in case the team needs them, and they're all going full guys mode right now. This is a uh, secret agent secret, trying to. Hmm. But I mean, at the sneaky, same time, how? Yeah. yeah, but at the same time, how useful is that when you're playing up against the Night Stalk, yeah. Progressive Gem, and Academs? Like, he's just gonna see you being guys up. It's, it, it looks funny though. I don't know. It they're could trying. work if, if the, it could work if the Night Stalk is not in position, which he isn't, by the way. He's not in a good position for this. Okay, secret. S4 is gonna find one. We had a pounce and attempt from Twista. They're gonna go to the Echnarch. They're gonna be able to get this kill. That's an absolutely huge kill. But Shadowway coming through does drop the Static Storm and puts S4 back in it with the glimpse. Although Arteezy did get off his BKB, they turn around the finger damage, the Sonic Wave damage on top of that. Ramses is down. Tiki Wink getting a double kill, but he gets pounced on by Quista. Gem on the deck while Zai is beating into State 21. It's a four on three. Currently, they get the spikes out. They do force out the Aegis from the Slark, though. State 21 still zapping, trying to do what he can. A full on Requiem on top of Quista, but it's not enough. And State 21, he gets the Yules defensively coming in. Eknar bought back, goes into the fight. State 21 still alive for a bit. They solo Black Hole, S4 again, and then State 21 denies himself? All right, doesn't want to be handed over by Zai blinking in randomly. And we find ourselves in a three-on-three -three trade with a buyback from Eknar, so a four-on-three technically. And uh, now the tier two should be able to fall here, but the Sonic Wave clears out the wave for a little bit. But either way, that that should be a tower going down. And it, but no, I think I don't know. But yeah, there's two there's two gems in play now. And ooh, I like this from SFZ. They smoke into the enemy. No, oh, they want to just end it here. Nice. Blinking forward, they get the hex. They get the static storm too. Arteezy can't go anywhere. Can't even use his BKB. He's bashed down. Sonic Wave comes in, but that's not going to be enough damage to pick up a kill here. They even finger Eknar, but he just lives through it. He pops the BKB. He's still alive. While Arteezy using his BKB to stop the glimpse, they finally kill off the pesky disruptor and then Quista. Oh, that's not Quista. That's State 21. He's tanky as all hell. He's going to TP right in front of them, and they can't go into the tree line. Oh, the oh. Yules! The Yules to come in. Stops it. State 21, he's gone. But this tier 4 tower, it's still alive. Just barely the tree armor, keeping it in play. And, uh, oh my. They force perseverance. They'll see it on top of them. They're going forward. They just want the kills, though. Static Torch connects onto Kuroki. He's just going to go down, but the black hole in on the, the two cores. Look at the damage. Going to be coming up to follow suit. But Zai's right click damage with the Maelstrom helping out a ton. Double Requiem coming in, but it's not going to be enough to pick up any kills just yet. They end up getting the Yules defensively, or defensively on Aquista, but it doesn't matter. He's going to pop that Shadow Dance. Go in for something but his team is dead that's all four gone quista turning around gonna be able to pick up the kill on his eye gets a bash kuroki's looking to be next he gets the hex off has the blink in five quista should be able to get him can he pounce he's looking for it pounces dark pack doesn't connect kuroki has blink and he's gonna go forward connects the spikes but dark pack comes in and He's gonna get slowed. Oh god, he's gonna get chased down, scottied up, looking for the bash to get one, but the pact is out. He's still looking to run away for his life. He gets over the ledge just barely with that pounce. And look at this chase coming out. He's got the dark pack going, and he turns aside to go on to Kuroki. But now he's bash lock. He's dead. That's all five from SFZ dying in a base dive on the secret. And I don't want to even see this rubber man. I can't even see it because the fight lasted too damn long. So I'm gonna look at the graph and survey says it's about Maybe three thousand. <laughs> and look less. at, look at him. Do they have a smoke? Yes, they oh, do. They don't have a smoke. Oh, oh well, the team secret side has a smoke. 
Oh yeah. Oh, then and they are smoked. Oh. Oh, blinking forward, finding a spike, under rams this, they get the sonic wave out too, looking for a black hole, Eknar gonna go forward, finds a two man, meanwhile SF just going insane, they even stop the black hole with the overgrowth, puppies ready for the refresh, he gets silenced though, and then S4 gets bashed, double kill coming in, that's Arteezy down with no buyback, S4 down as well, and then Kuroki, he's gonna get his TP stopped, he's down to triple kill for Quista, can he get the ultra? Zai blinking away. Roche is going to be up in a couple seconds, but I think they're just calling to rush the base down, seeing as how the buyback isn't up for another 10 seconds for the I secret mean, side. He doesn't even have enough gold, but. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, I mean, worst case scenario, they just force out a few buybacks, right? Best case scenario, you mean they one get. One buyback? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, one buyback. And there it is. The one buyback on SF, so. I'm not sure, yeah, but this one buyback is not going to scare them. SF, he doesn't have all his souls even, and, you know. Just can't stop him from... Oh, Blink Hex. They're not going to pounce in. They know what the state of the game is right now. They know that Artur can't fly back. Going to slow him down a little bit. They're using the Scotty. He misses the pounce, but gets the Abyssal onto Zai, and that's going to be enough damage to bring him down. No, the Yules is there. Dark Pack's going to pop, and he's dead. He can't blink away, and that's game. That should be game. S4 can't do much to defend this, and that's game one. Going over to SFZ over Secret as GG gets called, and you didn't expect that. I didn't expect that. Wow, honestly, just wow. They played this really well. I mean, in the end, you could sort of see that they were a bit overly aggressive. They lacked the experience of how to, you know, how to finish the game, I guess. Um, 